Hello, welcome to New Interesting Podcast. I'm your host, Ever. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we're doing a biography on Scott Hall. Scott Hall was born on October 20th, 1958 in Colutia, Florida. He's got a start in the wrestling business in the American Wrestling Association, the AWA, and the National Wrestling Alliance, laying the groundwork for a career that would eventually have a long-lasting impact on the sport. Eventually joining the WWF, World Wrestling Federation, which eventually changed his name to WWE, uh, in 1992, it was a big decision for Scott Hall. Um, Scott's prominence soared when he was in the WWE, partly because of his well-known persona called Razor Ramon. This character was a smooth-talking bad kid from the Miami streets, circa core with wrestling fans all over the world, and essential in Scott Hall's descent to fame. A pivotal point in his career came with collaboration with Scott Kevin Nash, which re, you know resulted in the most notorious team known as the Outsiders. Fans fell in love with Hall and Nash because of their captivating narratives and their powerful chemistry, which you know obviously got them re- a lot of attention. Eventually, over some time, the alliance developed into Royal Wrestling, into WCW, the New World Order, a group that would go on to become one of the most significant and enduring. In wrestling history, his magnetic presence uh, and ability to connect with the audience made him a stand-up performer. Um, you know, if it, it felt like he, he, you know, people loved his character. Anytime he played either Razor Ramon or Scott Hall, he was just charismatic. He was just fun. Uh, his tech, his technical aptitude in the ring was also really good. His maneuvers with the, you know, raised edge, so it really made him stand out, especially with his demeanor. Uh, you know, one of his most famous catchphrases is "Hey yo," a catchphrase that bo- boosted the mystique of his persona, while also being able to gain popularity outside the ring. Even though Scott Hall is known for his achievements, he had serious personal issues that he battled drug and alcohol addiction for a large portion of his career, which resulted in several arrests and spent time in rehab. These harvests revealed the human side of a wrestling legend and provided a nuisance portrait of the man beyond the persona. Unfortunately, he would pass away. But yeah, that was the life of Scott Hall. If you guys want to check out some documentaries, some books, there's a 30 for 30 called The Click. It's a documentary. You can also, there's a book called Scott Hall, The, the Living on the Razor's Edge, which is written by Scott Hall himself and Scott Teal. It's an autobiography. It was just, it should also go to WWE Networks or now on Peacock or Netflix, whatever it's going to be, a documentary called Razor Ramon, Uzi Machismo. So that'd be pretty cool to see that as well. You know, there's other ones as well. You could check out his matches on there. And thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode, uh, on this biography. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye, guys. Yay!